What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Echo Base Network, where we are live every Saturday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We hope that you will join us there. You will not be disappointed. It's a great show. Now, what are we talking about, Nick? Breaking news just happened today. The return of the proxy war, the Walt Disney Company, might be saved by a hostile takeover. Let's get into this news and see exactly what is happening. This just breaking over at the New York Post, ex-Marvel boss Ike Perlmutter joins forces with Nelson Peltz in Disney Battle. And the article tells us, former Marvel boss Isaac Ike Perlmutter has given fellow billionaire, they're both billionaires, Nelson Peltz control over his voting shares of the Walt Disney Company, setting the stage for a renewed proxy war with Disney and Bob Iger. Perlmutter, the billionaire investor, and Nick, he's about to drop... A quote here no. that is insane. It's insane. Ike Perlmutter, Perlmutter, the billionaire investor who was unceremoniously fired by Disney earlier this year as head of the comic books division, threw his support behind Pelts as the company's stock remains mired near nine-year lows. He said, here's, here's his quote, While I was a Disney employee, I was not comfortable publicly stating my views on the company and its performance. Perlmutter, who sold Marvel to Disney for $4 billion in 2009 and remains one of the company's largest independent shareholders, told the Wall Street Journal on Sunday. And then he said, As someone with a large economic interest in Disney's success, I can no longer watch the business underachieve its great potential. That's huge. Nick, does this mean anything for Disney? For Fans of Disney, for people who are hoping that Disney will once again make good, wholesome, you know, entertainment, not this, you know, agenda messaging, trying to tell you what to think and how to believe and things like that. What are your thoughts? Yeah, the you know, with the South Park episode dropping (laughs) over the weekend. The, 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 you know, with them pandering to every diverse culture, sex, race, whatever. And then we get these statements and comments from Perlmutter. Uh, you know, him and uh, Nelson Peltz look to be teaming up. Yes. Uh, you know, if they get a lot of other people backing them, I mean, they could be setting themselves up for a hostile takeover of the Disney Corporation uh, and kicking Bob Iger to the curb. Get out, Bob. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I it's hope not, it happens. Yeah, me too. The thing is, you you cannot... The, nobody can still, at this point, have their head in the sand about this. Disney, under Bob Iger, um, you know, has been an absolute disaster. He bought Star Wars, completely ruined it. Marvel was going good for a while with Feige. Yes. Uh, and Early then all on. of a sudden, yeah. they changed the formula after yes, Endgame. You know, yeah. was that his choice or was he told to do that? Who knows? Marvel, Marvel phased out. Yeah, they phased out for sure. Um, you know, and of course, everybody knows Star Wars is a, is a disaster. But uh, yeah, the, the company has so much, just like he said, it has great potential. There's great potential there. But like Gina Carano said in the video we covered uh, uh, earlier today, you know, it's failed leadership. It's failed yeah. leadership from the top down. Uh, nobody's taking responsibility. Nobody seems to be making course corrections or anything. It's just one disaster after yeah. another and just, just keep staying on the disaster train. Well, it what they're doing is delaying sense. their movies now. Push yeah. them back, push them back, push them way, way back. back. <laughs> you know, because they may, in fact, not be happening at yeah. all. Yeah. You know, they can't afford to continue to lose millions and then billions of dollars. They can't do it. Mm. No company can. And then you have the the state of the rumors, you know, that Iger's now trying to sell stuff off, you know, yes. uh, to try to... Uh, you know, cut costs and that sort of thing. With everything they own, they shouldn't have to be selling anything. They should be having dump trucks of money just flowing (laughs) into the company. But they're not because of their way that they're operating under his leadership. Uh, It's a complete failure. And I'm glad somebody who is one of those high top-end investors 
actually sees what's going on is that in a, and is actually trying to do something about How it. How crazy is it that a man with over 30 million shares, mm. a billionaire, said he was uncomfortable making public comments while he was working for Disney? Yep. And Oh, know, that's very telling. Yeah. Gina Carano said the same thing, and she's like low on the totem pole at yeah. Disney. Here's yeah. a top guy, and he feel felt the same way. You know, how that often he really say name anything. name me another billionaire that's afraid to say what he wants. I don't know of any. <laughs> I don't, don't know. You know, with that kind of money, you can you can buy whatever you want to say. Yeah, you know. So here's another quote that I think is really interesting. Another, I think it's really interesting. Uh, Pearl Mutter's approximately thirty million shares make up a majority of Tryon's stake in the company. With the ex-Marvel boss's backing, Peltz, who now has four times the amount of shares that he did during his initial proxy fight less than a year ago. Dude, he has four times more he, he's, shares now. He's, he's, been, he's been buying and buying. He will be in a stronger position to push for more seats on Disney's board of directors when the nominating windows open in December. We are weeks away from that happening, folks. Yep. The Post has sought comment from Disney and got nothing. Surprise, surprise. Silence from the corporation. <laughs> Silence from the corporation. Guys, what do you think about this? Nick, it's just crazy to me. Finally, things may be turning at Disney. And you know what? Here's oh. the thing. The kind of ripple effect that this could have if Disney course corrects and actually returns to a state of profitability actually makes entertainment that they should be banking, the kind that the fans actually want and demand, not and the, just the, the, some the, little the, bitty group. Yeah, if the they do that, the rest of Hollywood may follow suit. Go ahead. Yeah, and I was just going to add, and, and parents don't have to screen before letting their kids watch it, you know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, I, I don't know. Definitely times are a-changing. Things are about to heat up over at Disney. We're going to be watching that and reporting it to you here. Make sure that you come to our live Saturday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, live streams. You don't want to miss those. We'll be talking about it. We've got great panels, got great folks here at EBN, and we'll keep you abreast of all things happening with Disney. You know, maybe they'll be corrected. We will just see. Hope so. So, as we always say here, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.